Today, my friends, we're going to be gamifying our ceiling. We're using 100% customizable LEDs in this room, so you can create whatever wacky setup you want, or even a, a nice, natural, chill area to hang out while you're doing office work. And for anybody worrying, it looks absolutely amazing. Even with the lights turned off, you've just got a nice layer of clouds. The material I'm gonna recommend you guys and suggest that you use is a higher retardant, and we're not using any glue. And if you could drop a like on the video, if you find it helpful, that would mean the world to me. Would that make you happy? Now you may be wondering how much this will cost you. I did this for only 138 pounds or under $200 if you live in the USA. I've checked where you can get all the supplies and linked everything down below in the description. And I mean, you guys can see how big my room is and how effective this is using all the LEDs I used. And I'm about to show you everything I actually used in this video to make this effect. So let's get started. First thing, LEDs. These are the best LEDs you can get simply because they are really bright, they can change color, and also they have an app that will update the software that the LED uses. And it works off Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi and has tons of pre-settings and you can even completely customize your own, which is a really nice feature and also much more affordable. Next, we need a staple gun. Don't worry, I will show you how to use this. This particular one also comes with this, which is for removing staples. And so many staples, when I was covering my entire ceiling, I didn't even use 10% of what was in this packet. Now I'll tell you right now, do not use glue. The solvent that glue is going to release into your house, even with the windows open, for weeks after you use it is very damaging to your health and also it will completely ruin your ceiling. Whereas I know I can take staplers out of the plasterboard above this and I won't have any issues. I can just plaster over it, repaint it. But just in case you're worried, everything I have done to my ceiling in this video is very easy to remove because it's sort of stapled in, completely dry. If I wanted to remove everything here, I just have to take all the cotton wool off, pull the staplers out, and then give a little bit of plaster over those tiny little holes that the staples make in the plasterboard ceiling, and then I just paint it white again. It's that easy. Whereas if you put glue in your ceiling, oh boy, you're f oh, The last thing we need is a giant sack of wool. Now this is a special teddy bear kind of wool, so very safe, very inexpensive, and with this whole bag, I pretty much covered this entire room. As a rule of thumb, one 10 kilogram bag is going to get you nine meters squared comfortably. If you're not sure, just order two. And by the way, links for all of this are gonna be in the description below. So let's start by opening up this. So essentially you get this manual control, which has two LED connectors, which connect to both of these five meter strips. So 10 meters in total. Um, and then this has a power connector as well that connects into the mains power. Also, you can get a phone app that controls all of your LEDs at once. And since I'm using two packs of these, it's definitely gonna be valuable to have that phone app so I don't have to always use the manual control, which comes with it. And then the LED strips themselves actually have a two-sided sticky side. So you can peel that off and it's basically an adhesive that will stick to anything. You'll also get a pack of these. And basically what these are, are little wool sticky tabs or ceiling sticky tabs. And they'll basically hold the LED strips from underneath as an additional support. So they're not just supported by adhesive alone, which can, you know, fall off over time. They've also got a little screw hole there and it will come with some screws that you can obviously put into your drywall or whatever ceiling material you have. They are easily enough to hold an LED strip, so I wouldn't worry about getting any different screws or anything. Now currently I'm on top of my wardrobe and you guys can see this is an extension lead. It's running down the back to the plug socket and um, I've got the LEDs plugged in and each one of these plugs is gonna power two of those five meter LED strips. And I'm essentially gonna run them across the ceiling 
all the way to either side of the room and kind of like zigzag it a little bit. You don't want to go straight across because that would look really unnatural. Like clouds are supposed to be, you know, like stormy and random sort of lightning effects. Um, and obviously you want to be careful of the light bulb and if you're screwing anything around it, you should check where the wires are running. Usually the wires run up into the ceiling, into the joist, and then across higher than the plasterboard. So you probably will be safe, but in older houses, that might not be the case, so do check yourself. I'm going to be using a staple gun. I'm gonna use that to mount the wire on the ceiling and also the LED strip. A quick stapler tutorial video for anyone who does not know how to use them. This one in particular, you have a little latch at the back here, so if you push that in and then pull down, it comes out, and that's basically the spring. So just here is where you're gonna put different types of staples that come in the package. Now the first thing we're gonna do is clip in a wire. So I recommend you use these U staple types. So to load these, you just put it into the central channel like so, and then just drop it down. Then grab the spring that you disconnected earlier, and then just put that into the channel as well, and push it inwards like so and then just lock it in place so it doesn't come out again. And then you're ready to use it. The staplers come out of the edge just here. So essentially you just need to push against a wall and then hold it down and push very firmly. And then it will fly out like that into my glass cabinet, great, yeah. Now, if you want to staple a wire into a wall, what you're gonna do is you're gonna position the stapler so that the wire is in between that little metal groove there and then you can be sure that the staple is going to go either side of the wire and you can actually staple it into the wall without going through the wire itself. Make sure you disconnect the plug before you do that. So now you guys can see those two staples are in. I can freely move this cable up and down and essentially it's just gonna hold it in place. So when I do put those LEDs on, they're not holding the weight of the cables and the LEDs themselves. So it just makes everything a little bit cleaner and we can sort out this cable management later. So far, you guys can see I've stuck it along the ceiling. So I have to stick that part, but I'm basically just zigzagging it and making tiny little folds whenever it goes around a corner, just so it kind of looks like a natural sort of sneaky snake. We're heading over to that wall there. So just to show you guys, we have now gone all the way around from over there. So it does a little bit of an S all in a long line and then it wiggles around the edge there and then comes back on itself. And I've got another four, so I'm kind of planning to do the rest of this ceiling. So you guys can see from here how much space I actually have to cover there. Let me turn these on for a moment so you guys can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. So one of these cables is going to be clipped into here like so. And then we just plug it in. And then we have a very intense LED effect. So as you can see, it does look a bit crap at the moment just with LEDs on your ceiling. But as soon as we have the clouds, it'll look a lot better. So now we have the LEDs all laid out in sort of a crisscross pattern. I try to sort of intensify it over where my desk will be. There's a low angle so you guys can see what it looks like and where everything is laid out. But it's essentially just crisscrossing and zigzagging all the way across the room. And as soon as we get the clouds on, they're going to act as diffusers. And that's going to look a lot more natural than just literally having really harsh lines of LEDs across the ceiling. Like right now, this looks pretty damn terrible. And now we have the wall. So essentially, you're going to want to grab a big chunk of wall out of the bag. It's very much compressed together. And you might get like a few loose bits like just there at the top so what i like to do is just sort of you know knead it together a little bit so it's just one big clump so then what you want to do is get the mass of it near your ceiling push against it like so and then just staple it into the ceiling i'm just going to do that across your whole wall now some of the big clumps might require a couple of staples in if there's any bits hanging out you can just sort of knead it together to make sure so right here is the most game-changing part when you start stapling the clouds into your ceiling test it out as you go turn the lights on and off see what it looks like with the different thickness and thinness of each cloud just be careful that you don't staple the led strips themselves now i'm not so sure if you're aware of this right now but you're essentially watching a 400 
400% sped up montage of a man stapling cotton wool to his ceiling. And I'm sure it is truly the most exciting staple gun montage you'll ever see in your life. Now, I will say if you're using this idea for your gaming setup or streaming room, then it actually really does do wonders acoustically to the space. It's actually really an epic acoustic panel for gamers. Obviously, if you add LEDs to anything, it's just for gamers now. That's how gaming marketing works. So as you guys can see, we've finished most of the ceiling. We've just got this giant section just here to finish, which is also uh, where my desk currently is because I've been moving it around the office. This is actually gonna stay bare. If I buy more LEDs, I may put them here. I definitely have enough plugs up here to extend them out, so that's an option. By the way, the artwork here is actually on metal plates that you can attach to your wall, so you can swap out the pieces of art dynamically. They do tons of gaming artwork, so I definitely recommend checking them out. I'll link them below. When you walk in, there's a, you know, it looks like the clouds are just forming over the room. It actually looks quite natural, this transition. I kind of thought it could look bad, but it looks really good. So I'm happy with that. And then I could bring the clouds out a bit further just to mask this wiring. When I put my uh, Doom Eternal helmet back on there, it won't look as bad. But we've just got to finish off this section in the corner here. And then we are good. Looks like a rainforest, that transition from here to here. Love it. Look at this amazing cable management. My God, yes. Spaghetti Junction. Are you disgusted by this, Khajiit? No, he's not impressed. He's trying to fix that. All right, so I've just moved the PC back into position and I've done a little bit of cable management. It looks horrendous, doesn't it? I need like a box or something. And now we're going to have some floor space over here so we can start doing this area in the corner. I've posted a few progress stories of this project so far, and I've noticed a lot of people asking about the green wall in the background. Now, if you guys want another video on that green wall, do like the video, let me know in the comment section, and I will probably make a follow-up one if this video is popular. But I am crossing my fingers that YouTube doesn't demonetize the video for the copious amounts of penetration we're currently witnessing in such a short space of time. All right, so I've now used up a whole sack of this to cover pretty much this entire ceiling. So all over here, we've essentially covered, and that corner over there. Oh, so you guys can see, you know, a lot, a little bit of this goes a long way. That was just one of these. So I've got another one here. Um, I thought, you know, I was a little bit worried at first, but it's so compacted into here that you can literally cover this whole space. And this is like a super thick cloud layer as well. So, you know, there's more than enough in here to do a room like this to give you an idea of how much you'll need yourself. One day I'll get the real thing. So let's take a look at the final results. Right now I have a chill overcast jungle theme going on, but if we take a look at the phone app, we can customize our very own LED setting. And we get a bunch of presets as well that we can select depending on our mood. You can even put it on a timer. It's like being outside, but not because we're not allowed outside. There's a fire preset, sunset, northern lights, starry sky, jungle, space, summer, blue sky, party, romantic, dance, disco. There seems to be settings to suit any mood already before we even bother to make our own. You can also go super intense with some lightning, thunderstorm effects which look amazing. Add a stormy rain backtrack and you are in the zone. I'm immersed in real life. Let me know in the comments right now, what is your perfect lighting effect match? for what video game. All right guys, we're almost at the end of this video, but I have a big problem that I need your advice on. But also don't forget to comment below if you wanna see another build video on how I made the green jungle wall. I think the last thing we need to do is replace this light bulb just here because it's the last thing left in the room and it doesn't match with this beautiful jungle aesthetic. So if there's any good light bulbs you have, please suggest them to me on Twitter and maybe like, I don't know, a plain light bulb? Does that exist? That could be quite cool.
Now, as you guys know, I like to keep these videos super positive and upbeat because these last months have been super difficult. Like, personally for me as well, like just being locked in the house constantly, not going outside. So I've been trying to fill the gap for other people on YouTube through my content. And I think one of the things that really personally helped me is just changing the space. Even if you guys don't do what I did in this room, I think just you know, retidying your office, moving around furniture, organizing stuff massively helped me. So I would definitely recommend you guys try doing the same. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.